Hey guys, so basically I am just done not doing my makeup on here. I still have the bruise, it's taking forever to heal. I'm just over it and probably not how I should start out a video, but <laughs> I went ahead and did my just like foundation, concealer, powder, and brows. I ended up having one more order that I might have forgotten about. I knew I had placed like a really heavy skincare order, but then I was like, did I just like not check out? Did I decide I didn't need all of it? Like did something happen? Whatever. And then today, um, a couple more boxes showed up. So I was going to haul all of the skincare with y'all. There's a couple little makeup items in there. And then I want to put on the Charlotte Silbury bronzer. Um, just a couple other things that I've already hauled. So I'm going to get into the skincare stuff. It, the first thing I'm really excited about is this Dr. Jart Cryo Rubber. I think that's what it is. It says with soothing Alatonian, a two-step and a two-step intensive soothing kit. And it's supposed to be like a rubber mask on your face or something. I'm really just not sure about this. So I think first you like put on something. I'm guessing it's this stuff and it like cleanses your face kind of. And then you put this rubber mask on and you leave it on for like 30 to 40 minutes. And it's just supposed to like soothe skin and relieve redness, revitalize skin, and also cools skin's temperature. So I thought like with summer coming up, this just sounded really cool and really different. So I had to try this. And then I've also really wanted to try this Glow Recipe Watermelon Toner. This is what that looks like. It's a really nice glass bottle. I think all of their stuff is packaged like so nice and like sleek, but so pretty just like up on your countertop in your bathroom, wherever you do your skincare. So I'm excited to try that out. I also bought a Tatcha the Silk Peony eye cream. I've been using this for months and I love it. And since I was grabbing that, I also decided to grab another one of the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. It's like kind of an exfoliating facial cleanser. It's so good. And I don't use this every night, but I will throw it in like a few times a week and it just feels so good. And it keeps my skin in a really good place without having to use it every single day. So I really, really love this and it was in stock for once. So I had to grab this. Then I also wanted to grab the Ola Hendrickson Find Your Balance Old Control Cleanser. This I want to use for my like morning skincare routine, the Deep Cleanse by Tatcha, I always use at night. So this one I have not used before, but I've been using a few other products from this line and I've always really loved her cleansers. So I cannot wait to try this for the summer since my T-zone does get very, very oily. I also got a eye serum kind of thing for during the day. I use the Silk Peony at night and I wanted something for during the day. So this is the Waso Shiseido Eye Opening Essence. And I should have put this on before my makeup right now, but it looks like this. I love this packaging. I feel like you can just like hang it on something. I don't know what the hell you would hang it on in your bathroom, but <laughs> I just think it's really cute. And I've tried a couple of things from Shiseido. I've really liked both of them and I'm excited to give this a try for during the day. The next thing is the Ola Hendrickson Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Cream. This is also a, like, not a backup, but a, this, the, but I've purchased this more than once. It is so good. And I also don't have to use this every single night. I will kind of alternate between a few different things. If anybody would ever want to see like a skincare routine, I will totally do it, but I highly doubt that you do. This is really good. It targets fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, firms, hydrates, just like does everything that I want a night cream to do. So I love this. And then this I have never tried before. It is the Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. It says it reduces blemish size and redness within four hours. So I figured if I had a pimple that was coming out, I could do my nighttime skin routine and then throw a little bit of this on there. So I don't know, it says it has 2% silic acid and we will see how this works. All right, we have a couple more things of skincare and then we will get into the makeup, which I'm so excited about. This is the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Acne Treatment Face Oil. So in the summer, when my skin does get oilier, I find that it also is much more prone to breaking out. And I've heard so many good things about this. On the side, it says it's for management of acne, it penetrates pores to control blackheads, help prevent new acne, acne blemishes and blackheads from forming. And you know, the directions are cleanse the skin thoroughly before applying, cover the entire, entire affected area with a thin layer one to three times daily. 
um, don't like don't use it too much if you're using if you are new to using salicylic acid start by using it three times a week and work your way up you can use a couple of drops in your foundation that's actually really cool so i might try that at some point if my skin starts getting really bad but i definitely did not know you could put this in your foundation which is super cool and it comes in this cute little box this is not like the huge size this is it's not like a mini but it's just the smaller of two sizes and i don't know i'm really excited to start using this i think i might start putting this into my skincare routine now so that it can start working <laughs> last skincare thing that i got was the youth to the people with pride three-piece kit and i just got the cleanser that comes in this kit in another sephora bag thing i will link that haul up there if i remember which i probably won't but i got this in one of those bags and i really wanted to try it so i'm glad that i have a backup if i really like it and if it's not for me i can always throw it in a giveaway that is coming up and then the other two things that are in here are the superberry hydrate and glow dream mask and then this is the oh geez europa mate resurfacing energy facial so they are actually like really decent sizes and they're all in glass packaging so i think like once i'm done with this it'll be really nice to have to put other cleansers in to go vacation whatever you know so that is all of the skincare that i got and now just a couple of little makeup things that i grabbed i got four abh eye toppers three of them are glitter and then one is a pigment loose pigment so this is the loose pigment it is in the shade crystal and it is just a really pretty kind of like rosy gold tone and all of these were on sale which is why i ended up picking up quite a few of them then the next one here is a glitter and this is in the shade carnival i think i might i don't know i can't decide if i want to use this one or the next one today but this is like a gorgeous pinky corally glitter and then the next one is in the shade wavy and it is like this it's so good. It looks like this blue, purple, shifty, silver. So, so pretty. So definitely cannot wait to use that. And then the last one is in the shade Star Power. And this is more of like an everyday shade for me. This is just a really pretty kind of like gold bronzy topper. So I think that's basically everything. Oh, there's one more little thing. I decided to grab the ABH Norvina Collection Volume 1 Mini Palette. I don't have any of these, and I really love the Volume 4 palette that I just got. So I was looking around at these. They were on sale, and I just wanted to check them out. This is the one that seemed the most fun to me. And I don't know, I just kind of want to play around with this today, play around with some of those glitters, and see what we come up with. So let's go ahead and start on the eyes, and then... We will finish up the face with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers and all of that. All right, so I think to start this eye look off, I think I am going to use that kind of bluey, purpley gl glitter. I was going to say pigment, but the glitter. I think that'll look really cool with like these three bottom shades down here. But I think I want just a little bit of a transition color before I do that. So I am going to go into my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade 2, and I'm just going to put a, a little bit of this right in my crease. So as you can see when I'm putting it on my eye, this is a very, very light shade. I'm actually going to go into the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in the shade 3 Dark and just deepen up my crease a tiny, tiny bit with this. I feel like this has just a little more pigment to it and I just want to throw down a little something for those other colors to kind of blend into since I don't want to have like a super bright eye. Okay, so I just wanted something super light like that. Now I'm going to go into this first purple down here, and I'm going to take a different brush. This is the Morphe blending brush. Tap into there a bit and run that through my crease as well. This is really, really nice and pigmented. I'm loving this color so far. Like that looks really, really nice. <laughs> I'm definitely going to go back into this color to blend out some other things, but next I'm going to go into the color right beside it. I'm also going to put this in my crease, just not quite as high up 
and I'm going to concentrate some of this color on my inner and outer corners a little. Ooh, this is a really, really pretty color. I think I'm actually just going to carry this across my lid because I think that glitter is going to look better when it has just a little something up under it. And then now I'm going to go into the shade right beside it and just, I think I'm actually going to dab in between the two and start it on my outer corner and just kind of work it in and then do the same on my inner corner. So the most pigment is at like each corner, <laughs> if that made any sense. Alright, so now that I have all of those colors down, I'm going to go back in with that bigger brush in the lightest purple and just buff out the very top edge. Maybe I shouldn't be doing purple eyeshadows when I have a black eye, huh? <laughs> Didn't really think that part through. But this is so pretty. Like, I love all of those colors together. And this has been so easy to work with. Like, I feel like this has taken me, like, no time at all to do. So I am going to go in. I think I'm going to take this middle shade here and just run that right across my lower lash line. And taking a little bit of that deeper shade right on the outside. All right, now for the fun part, the glitter. So I was looking at these earlier. Where did I put it? Okay. So I was looking at these earlier and I kind of love the packaging. So it has that twist off cap and then it also has this little stopper. So like your cap isn't filled with glitter every single time that you use it. So I'm trying to figure out how I should, I might just like tap a little on the back of my hand, but I have their glitter glue right here. I use this one all the time. So I'm going to brush a little bit of this on my finger first. And then I'm going to dot this glue right on the center of my eye. And then take some of that glitter. Ooh, this looks pretty. I'm grabbing a different finger and pressing that right down Ooh, where I put the glue. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? Holy shit. I'm going to try to take this little brush and just very, very gently try to blur it out just a very tiny bit just so it doesn't look so harsh, but I think it'll look fine once I have liner and lashes on. I'm really, really feeling this. Okay. I love glitter so much. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to finish up. Well, I'm going to do this eye real quick. I'll do a little liner and mascara and I will be right back. Hello. So I'm back, obviously, and I finished off my eyes. I am obsessed. I also threw on these Eleganza ABH lashes. These might be my new favorite pair of lashes. Like, I'm obsessed with these and they're on sale for like eight dollars so i'm really 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 loving this eye look even though it's a little out of my comfort zone i think it's really pretty and it really just makes me want to go out and have some fun so <laughs> let's get on to the rest of the face i only have pretty much like the charlotte tilbury bronzers and like some blush and highlight and then we'll be done so as y'all saw when i was putting some in my crease this charlotte tilbury bronzer is the number two and it is quite light i also have the shade three here which is pretty dark <laughs> so i decided to grab the dark airbrush fall airbrush flawless finishing powder and I wanted to see what this shade was like compared to these. So let me swatch these for y'all real quick, just so I can show y'all what I'm looking at. Yeah. So here we have the shade two, the shade three, and then the shade three powder. 
So these two are pretty close. I'm sorry, I don't even feel like getting up and turning that off. But this one is super light. So I've been kind of trying to play around with all of them and see what I prefer. The Flawless Finishing Powder in the shade Dark is a really nice contour shade. So I'm going to take that on. I'm going to take that on this Tom Ford cheek brush and I pick up a tiny bit and then I'm just going to put it way back here. And I just use literally like the tiniest bit just to give me that little bit of a shadow. That's all that I do with this. I also have put it in my crease a few times, but I also just got these a couple of days ago. So I'm still kind of feeling my way around them. Then I go in with the shade two bronzer, which I mean, it's a light bronzer. I'm not going to lie. I did think it would have a little more color to it but it looks really good to warm up your whole face with. So I'm going to take my Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush and just swirl it around. It is a little bit powdery and I just kind of go to town on my entire cheek and then I bring it down here a little bit on my forehead and I feel like I don't have to be very precise with this one because it is very light and I can just build it up. So if you do build this up, it gets to be a very pretty bronzer. You know, like you definitely don't need three different Charlotte Tilbury products for a bronzer. <laughs> but because I really wanted to just kind of like test everything out, test out the formula, see how different the bronzers were from the blush, see just like what the whole formula was all about, I went a little bit crazy. And if you are watching this, I would make sure to subscribe because when I hit 150 subscribers, I will be having a giveaway start and this could potentially be one of the items in that giveaway. So if you are interested in this, definitely subscribe and stay tuned for, I have no idea how long it'll take me to get there, but stay tuned for that. So now that I have bronzed up my face with quite a bit of this number two powder, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to go in with the number three on a more precise brush. Not precise, but just not as huge as that one. And I just take a very small amount of this and take it right on the back here to really bronze up my, like, the back of my cheek, a little bit for the top of my forehead and then a little for this cheek as well, obviously. And if I go a little bit too crazy with the number three, I just go in with this big duo fiber brush and buff it out. So I would say if you are a bronzer addict like me, and you really like to like layer and layer and layer your bronzer, I would probably stick to the two because you can just go and go and go. And here I can like layer up the swatch on my hand a bit. Because once you get a few layers going, it does get a little bit more like intense. Not, I'm not gonna say intense, but it definitely layers up. So that's after a couple of layers. And now that is starting to look more like this number three powder instead of the number three bronzer. So these are the two bronzers again, and that is the powder. I think this will be the perfect winter bronzer for me. So the number two, I really, really, really love. The number three will be perfect for when I'm self-tanned, but I don't have to have that. I could definitely just keep on building the number two. So I hope that kind of answered any questions that you have had about these. Um, I cannot imagine what the number one bronzer would look like because that's a very fair bronzer already, you know, for the number two. So yeah, I can't imagine that. But anyways, I'm going to go in with this Dior Coral Blush on my cheeks just to give a little more color. And then I'm going to take this Fenty Kilowatt highlighter that I got and I'm going to go in with the Mean Money side first and then top it off with Hustla Baby. I'm just going to grab my Real Techniques brush. So I feel like this one, it does take some layering up, but then once you put that, was it Hustla Baby on top? It just like goes bam. 
but because the baby is a little bit glittery so I like to put this across most of my cheekbone and then just go in with a little tap of that to top this one off and I think that is so pretty all right so I definitely want the eyes to be like the statement of this whole look but I did grab a Fenty Beauty lipstick I swear like if my head was not attached it would it would be gone okay i'm so upset right now because i really really wanted to try this lipstick with the uh, house labs venus gloss i think it's called but we will have to do that another day because i'm pretty sure i left it in my car so this is the shade uncensored maybe i'm not really sure it's a pretty like peachy color so i want to kind of dab this on and then put the a gloss on top <laughs> So it's definitely super pigmented and I didn't want it to be like straight up peach on my lips, but I think it looks good with the blush. And now I'm going to top it with the Kaja Beachy Nude Vacay Shine Lip Oil. This is not my favorite at all. Um, I'm not sure. It feels a little bit grainy to me, but it does have that really pretty bronzy color and I really love the color of it. It's just like the feel. But I've been using it a little bit more lately, and I'm kind of growing to like it a bit more, I think. I'm going to spray my face with my Hourglass Veil Setting Spray. And then super quick before I jump off, I need to highlight my inner corner. Hello. Now I'm just going to take the Hustle Baby in here and throw this right on my inner corner. Oh yeah. It's just like the finishing touch that I needed. All right, so this is the final look. Definitely let me know what you think. I'm really digging the eyes today. I guess I should probably take my hair down, huh? <laughs> my eyes are driving me crazy. This one is like watering in the inner corner, so I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a little bit wonky now, but it doesn't really matter. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed watching and this took your mind off of things for at least a little bit. Um, I know that playing with makeup has been basically what has been keeping me sane through the COVID, through all of the shit that is going on in our country right now. I hope this took your mind off of it for at least a little bit, and I hope you're having a great day, night, evening, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you in the next video. Bye.